All right, what's up, what's up, guys? ABH here with a little market recap for this week. Um, let's see what we have going on, stepping into April 29th. Um, should be a strong week, getting into May, second month of the quarter. Uh, so let's just check out some news that we got going on here. We have um, on Monday should be a pretty quiet day, just straight fundamentals and technicals. Then we kick off a real busy week um, with the, not a lot of news, but Wednesday is a heavy news day, right? Um, to be honest with you, there is a lot of news. <laughs> Sorry about that. We have NFP on Friday. Uh, we have on Wednesday the FOMC and federal funds rate. Um we also have PMI, which is huge. So we got PMI, Jolt's job openings, FOMC, and the federal funds rate. Um, this should be huge. Uh, most of it is uh, going to stay the same. Um, that's what everybody's assuming. We're going to stay at 5.5. We've been here since September. We can look almost since July of last year. We're going on an entire year of a non-changed um report so everybody's assuming it will stay the same uh, if they do anything different like cut it or increase it it'd be extremely volatile and i don't believe they're going to do that the assumption is that they will begin cutting rates at some point in this year so let's just start here um this is what we got going on on ES. We're on the monthly, right? The S&P 500. Um, I'm looking at these levels here in this area uh, just for some sort of indication that we will continue going up, um, maybe even a little bit lower between 46 and 4,700. Um, this would be a retracement, I believe, of the... 61.8 we throw this down here uh there it is that's the 61.8 retracement which i like only thing is that my reversion ma may start to pull into this area um allowing for us to have something similar like this to occur right so just talking on the foundation of this coming week on the monthly we see that uh we do have a bearish candle uh formed with one day almost two days left. On the weekly, we came off of my reversion MA uh, extremely strong, uh, but we do have this channel that we are ascending in, and we're going to top this channel again at 51.74. And that, that number plays a key role in all of this uh, just because, um, look, we, we've been trying to break out of this range this ascending range for a little bit right um it's a channel range whatever you'd like to call it and we haven't been able to uh necessarily um obviously second week of april we had completely tanked last week we had built up and then this week will be a week of determination as to what we are going to do um between us, I'm looking for cells on ES, and it's because of this daily uh, formation. So um, we already had a bearish change of character internally. Um, we have a weak high up here, and we had a strong order block down here, right? But the thing is that we snapped the reversion MA extremely strong. Then we snapped the 50 MA when we went to come and retest, we also broke down and then the daily has gapped for these two days, right? The thing is that this gap is leaving room to the downside so that we can fill all of this and all of this and all of this, right? Sorry about the ugly drawing. So we have a lot of room to basically fill gaps to the downside on the daily. And we're hitting the reversion MA, right? So we already know once the reversion MA is broken to the downside, we usually will come up to test, possibly come down, right? Um, and then we break out, end up again below, left a huge gap. Market came in to fill it. Once we were under the reversion again, 
the market completely sank. Same thing over here, bounced off the 50 MA and came back down, right? So we have the 200 MA extremely low at 47, 80s. And then that's also my key area that I was saying on the weekly and the monthly for us to come back and retest, right? So I'm honestly looking for the daily to come and tap uh, the the top side of this. Uh, let's just throw this down on the daily, right? And if we go back onto the daily, look where it is, right? We broke up, ranged off of it, took off, came close and just slammed to the downside. And I'm thinking we're going to come and retest this trend line, um, which will leave us back to the downside if you notice both points are smooth everything is beautiful about it and it gives us room to come and truly retest this entire run to the top side we haven't really retested it like we did over here right we had a huge run to the top side and then we began our formation back down to test which is our strong low our discounted pricing ATR3 was here. We were below the 200 MA. So we know we were in oversold territory. And then we officially started breaking back above. But we know that when price runs extremely far off the 200 MA, at some point or another, we will come back and test that 200 MA. So if you can see here on this entire run here within ES starting in November of 2020, we were just arranging off of that reversion MA, right? And it just kept bouncing off the 50 and the reversion, 50 and the reversion. We broke down slightly, pulled back out of it, and just completely started riding the wave to the top side until we started creating downward pressure and momentum. Over here, I feel the same thing is happening. We got the little turnaround break down and then we're pulling back up possibly to test this area and hit some sort of retracement right so we know this we got to hit a retracement somewhere around here this is already the 50 percent the 61 8 would technically be at the line so i don't see why we wouldn't tap this line to come down the only thing i wouldn't like about that is that now we're back up on the emmys again so we're about to get across of the 50 and the 21. And you can see that on that reversion, right? When we get across coming down, let's say, right, we're up here. We get across over here, right? Market is extremely bearish and coming down. So nonetheless, uh, I'm looking for sales. Let's look at the four hour, right? My apologies about so many lines. I thought I cleaned this up. Uh, let's just start cleaning some of this up here. Let's take this out of here. We'll leave this right there. Um, take this off here. Um, let's see. Every level has basically been perfectly tested here. We have this. This is a huge four-hour resistance. There's nothing to the left side because we've, we're in all-time high pricing. So no matter how far we go, this is as uh, it doesn't matter. It's there. There is nothing in that area. So um, I'm looking at this 200 MA on the four hour as a potential sign of reversal. Um, but this was a beautiful pullback, right? Um, if we just throw down uh, this line here, let's see. We just throw this down, right? We have the 78.6 over here from this drop down, right? To see if we could pull back into this area, we hit the 61.8 and look how deep we came back down for a retracement. Uh, I know this is an internal break of structure. I understand that the market has shifted somewhat in the four hour. Um, but to me personally, I think we could hit a range between the 51, 40 price and down here at the 49, 50 price. And it's a $200 move. And, and, and I like it a lot just because um, I don't see the markets completely tanking, but I definitely do see the markets having a difficulty in pulling back up to all-time highs. 
So I will be dropping in as soon as I get a little bit more clarity. Market just opened. I'll be dropping in where my short positions will be entered. Um, as you can see, we gap to the top side here, right? We should have opened somewhere around here. And then we hit this gap to the top side for market open. On the daily, we gapped again. Right. So something is obviously off right now. So let's just figure out where is the best point of entry for us to be able to get in. If we look here on the 15 minute chart. Um, look, market completely pulled up to the top side. We hit this terrible consolidation. I lost some money on Friday with this stupidity here. Um, but the market obviously is showing a little bit of resistance in this zone. And the reason why is because we have the 200 MA on the four hour, right? We have equilibrium back here. That's the 50% on the total run down from the top to the downside, which we just pulled up on the daily, the 61.8. Um, you know, the market is trending down. We did want to come and fill in some imbalances and test this internal change of character. So, we're, we're kind of doing a lot here, right? We have the 200 MA now right below us on the on the two hour. But most of the time when the 200 MA, the 50 and the 21 are all stacked like this, uh, we understand it's bearish territory, right? So let's just see if we can get a break of this trend line again. If we get a break of this trend line, I'm more than likely taking the trade to the downside for a couple points. Overall target on this, uh, I'm not going to lie. I, I like what my fib tool is telling me. And we are headed down to these areas of the negative 2.7 and the negative 61.8, which aligns beautifully with my key levels on the weekly and the monthly. So just trying to figure out exactly where I'm getting in. And I'm taking shorts all the way back down to the downside. All right, uh, let's just look at gold really quick. Um, Look, if you ask me, I think gold is doing her typical lower high to the downside. Um, it just, it, it is what it is. Uh, gold likes to do this. If we look on the monthly here, right? I'm sorry. If we look on the monthly here on gold, um, we have this big wick kind of forming here. Usually when she does a big wick like that, um, you know, means selling pressures is imminent, right? It's coming through. And we are at all time highs, touch the 2400 price. And we've been struggling a little bit to get there. On the weekly, we left this sort of um, candle that, that signifies we still have buying pressure to, to fill in the candle, but sells nonetheless, right? And you can see that here when we leave candles. Um, let me see. When we leave candles like these, right, with big wicks, our following candles usually end up pushing up to test. Market will do its thing to begin its movement to the downside, right? And it happens often. Like if we go and find it, um, it is definitely something that we that we see. I rather see something like this, where the market is trying to buy back some of that selling pressure and share. Then I would like to see something like this because that means the market did buy a lot. There was a lot of pressure to the upside. We got bears to win at the end, but we still had a lot of buying pressure to continue because this price had to be tested and cleared, right? So um, this took weeks to happen, right? This was December 4th. By the time we came to clear, it was March 4th. So almost three months or exactly three months. So let's just keep this into consideration. I'm looking for shorts on gold as well. If we look at the daily here, we have a similar outcome, right? We're underneath the 8MA, we're bouncing off the reversion uh, MA, which we could come down and test, possibly break back to the downside. This all has to do with something that's very important, which is Dixie, right? Uh, we understand that as the value of the dollar rises, um, other commodities are usually coming down, right? So the dollar ended last, the, the previous day, extremely bullish and engulfing candle formation off of a major daily support level, right? 
Last time we got something similar to that, market ended up pushing drastically all the way to the top. So I do I think that's going to happen? I do not, because that would mean that they would have to uh, continue increasing interest rates for the dollar to get stronger. Gold and stocks would become weaker and things like that. So as of right now, I do not see that happening, but I could definitely see her coming to test the daily resistance up here at 106.9. And that is a price that she likes to come and test comes down, comes up and test before she breaks. We didn't get a break of this daily support to the downside. And this was a very deep retracement. So it was still bullish territory and momentum, right? Look at this, moves back up, a deep retest here, probably to the 70 and 61.8. And then we got a push back up, a nice retest to the 38.2 and a push back up, right? All on the daily. So this means there's a lot of pressure here for buying. I'll throw this down here. Let's see what I said. Bang, 50, 61.8 was right there. If we take this over here, right? And take the fib from over here, Boom, we got the 38.2 retracement. They're very simple, right? We got an extension into the negative 2.7. We still haven't even hit the negative 61.8. And this is a supply order block, a weak high and a supply order block. So overall, I do think market will push up into this realm. So gold has a lot of room to come to the downside, right? And I like the formation. So let's see how the news impacts this week. I would like to see this entire imbalance filled since we didn't tap into it and completely drop. So now that we're already up here, I would like to see it pick up a little bit, right? And let's just see the four hour and look what the four hour has started to do. This is super simple trades. We could be making a lot of money on this trade right here. And I'll show you why. If we pull this trend line here, very basic. There's no need to complicate things. We throw a trend line here. We see the market is now in a bullish formation. Um, coming off of a huge drop. Let's see if the market can pull us back in deeper above equilibrium and into the 61.8. Let's see if we can test this small little FVG here. If we can fill this imbalance, probably get a wick here at the 23.86 before we get a drastic fall to the downside. So this is easy money for us to be making. If we do not get there and we get a break here, somewhere here on this trend line, I'm more than likely taking the shorts and I'm going to run her down to her main daily trend line, which is huge, right? Uh, let me see where this trend line is. Her main daily trend line lives somewhere around 2212 and things like that, right? Coming back to test the 2000 price or the 2200 price, which we really haven't tested. If you see, we had a break of structure here. We came down deep pulled out and we've never came back down to test any of these price points. Uh, so I'm looking for that to be, to be done at some point or another, which would leave us somewhere around the 2200s. So let's just watch this. I will be throwing down uh, my trades on Telegram this week when I go to execute a trade. Overall, though, this is a reversion MA that we're above the eight and we're stuck in between the 50. We could be going for buys here, right? We could be. I want to see an engulfing four hour, a closure, a retest of that candle, and then to take the trade to the downside. So let's just see if this area here proves to be for shorts or if this area proves to be for shorts. The reason why we're in this entire mess here on gold and the reason why we're in this entire mess on ES, and we're probably in the same exact mess for US 30, is because of the simple fact that we have a ton of news coming out. We got federal rates coming out next this week on Wednesday. Um, next week on Wednesday, we have CPI. Um, you know, markets have just sunk for a few weeks now, right? This is since April 1st since the beginning of the month. So we know month's end is coming. We're trying to pull back a little bit before we begin the next monthly candle. So let's see how these last 48 hours of April deal with the candles and price action. So let's give it a little bit. There's no rush at all. We're going to make money regardless this week. Let's just kind of determine where exactly we'll be getting in, right? I want to see a top of this. If we get a strong break above this and this downtrend line and we're moving to the top side, I'm more than likely going to follow in on the longs back into the strong highs. If not, and we get a beautiful rejection coming down, I'm taking the shorts because that's my original bias. I like the shorts. So 
Um, overall, market is retracing for all categories, all commodities, stocks, everything. We're hitting a little bit of a retracement from the month's earlier sell-offs. If you see NQ, NQ is doing the same thing and leaving us with an engulfing candle. I, do, I think that NQ has room to come down to 16.30 and 15.8. So if we look at the monthly, we have the same exact occurrence here, right? We have a little bit of uh, on this on this weekly we had a pullback candle but we already violated the reversion ma and now we're underneath the ama um which means that the next line of demarcation for the market to continue is the 50 ma and that leaves us back here at testing the break of structure to the top side so let's see and we will definitely be looking to take shorts in this market um we are at all time highs things are getting crazier and I think the markets have reached a sense of exhaustion. So here we have another trend line that we haven't came down for a third touch on. And uh, to be honest with you, I don't see another trend line here for me to draw a channel other than that one. But that really isn't the beginning. Let's see here and here. I don't like that at all. Let's see here. I don't like this at all. Let's see if it's just a closed one. Um, yeah, I, I can't even draw something that makes much sense other than this. So, you know, whatever. Let's see if we can get the break to the downside. Here on the daily, uh, we're sitting right, look at the same exact thing. It's just our 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 order block for our supply our supply zone is uh is definitely a lot lower than it was on ES, right? But if we just throw down a fib right from here to here, we are looking at a 78.6 or a 61.8 retracement. So we're we're basically all on the same. And, and the 200 is pulling price down drastically right now into the 16.5s. So let's just give it a break and we will definitely have some sort of position to take here as well. And in Q, we got... You know, strong highs up here, 200 MA on the four hour, um, a higher high coming from this trend line, from this down trend here, uh, a break. We got the retest, a push up, a higher high, higher low. Now, now let's see what happens here. If we get this big push to the top side, you know that we're going to take buys. So let's just wait. I'm, I'm extremely bearish on the market. I'm not bullish at all. We just need to give it a little bit of time to give us a trade. A little bit of time, possibly better off till tomorrow's market open. So we got gaps here on the 15 minute. It's just my my order blocks here, my demand zones are, are extremely strong, right? Like we got strong lows, equilibrium. We just got a breakout. So we need further confirmation to take positions. It's okay not to take any positions at all. There's nothing wrong with that. So just stay confident, stay chill. And let's see what we have going on for this week. We will definitely be taking some trades. See you guys on the flip side. Be posting everything on the Telegram and on YouTube. Hopefully you guys can see the trades evolve and make some money. ABH is out. Peace.